And we're going to learn several uh, things. These are a, a couple of friends of ours. Это наши друзья. And uh, they they went with us when uh, we were going down um, teaching in Qumran. They're two of the ones that were learning. Когда мы учили по Qumran, они также учились с нами. Uh, when we went to uh, the caves of ah, Qumran, когда мы посещали Кумранские пещеры, I haven't told you too much about where Qumran is. I've just said it's near the Dead Sea. Не сильно много вам рассказывал о Кумране, сказал, что там он, они возле Мертвого моря. This is the Dead Sea right here. Вот это Мертвое море на горизонте. This is the Dead Sea. Мертвое море. And uh, the water from the Dead Sea is uh, quite low right now because of lack of rain, not much rain. И там было мало дождей, потому вода упала. Normally it's up to about right here. Обычно вода доходит до этого уровня. And so the, all of this is uh, because of how dry Israel is right now. Поэтому это высохло вся из-за отсутствия дождей. A lot of water is gone out of the Dead Sea. This is the country of Jordan. This mountain back behind. And this is the country of Israel from about right here. This way is Israel. So the other side of the Dead Sea is the country of Jordan. In 1967, prior to the Six Day War, all of this was part of Jordan. Все это было частью Иордана. But when Jordan and several other countries attacked, когда Иордан и там другие страны напали, on Yom Kippur, на Йом Кипур, yesterday, вчера это можно сказать было, a few years ago, пару лет назад, Israel said, okay, if you're going to attack us, we're we've got to take land to protect ourselves. Ну, Израиль сказал, ну хорошо, если вы на нас нападаете, тогда мы что-то предпримем, себя so, надо защитить. That, land, и, uh, это, и они забрали эту землю и под до Иерусалима. Uh, Такой войне, в которой невозможно было бы вообще победить. Но Бог знает лучше, не так ли? Он знает, что он делает и почему он делает. This is a very dry area of the country. It's very dry. 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 It's It's as low as you can go and still be on the surface of the earth. The same niche of place. And because of that, it is incredibly dry. И поскольку там очень сухо, очень засушливая местность. You can go there, and it can be, let me see, in Fahrenheit, it'd be like 120 degrees and centigrade, 47. Это 47 по Цельсию, плюс 47 по Цельсию достигает температура. И очень-очень жарко становится в августе. Поэтому в зимнее время, как сейчас, очень хорошо посещать то место. Погода идеальна. Только чтобы дождей не было. It's just started to rain in Jerusalem. We were very, very pleased this past week. На прошлой неделе только начались дожди в Иерусалиме. Нам это очень нравится. It started raining early. И очень рано начались дожди. In Israel. В Израиле. So we're hoping this is, or we're praying, or we're believing that this is going to be a very big rain year for Israel. И мы молимся и надеемся, что это будет будет много дождей в Израиле в этом году. One of the things that we'll see in a minute, I'm going to sit down here, right quick, in just a second. I'm about to sit down. Is let's go and see something. This is some friends of ours. There I am as well. Okay, this is. 
is seeing um, outside of Jerusalem. So we've jumped now from um, into an area called the City of David in Jerusalem. Это город Давида в Иерусалиме. So now Jerusalem is high and the Dead Sea is uh, low. Поэтому Иерусалим высоко поставлен, стоит мертвое море очень низко. And uh, let me just do another picture here. You see this city here that you're seeing here? И видите этот город? This city is the city where King David set up his kingdom. Это там, где Давид установил свой трон, If you've heard of the city of David, that's это город Давидов. That's where it was set up on the side of the of the mountain. Там это было на краю на Now we're standing right now. Uh, you can see down here. Uh, is where we're standing in the city of David. And looking, looking up to Jerusalem. And you see, you see this uh, wall here. This wall is not very old. It's only maybe 800 years old. Uh, the corner of this wall right here that you can находится. see is 2,000 years old. And below this wall, this wall is built on another wall. Below this wall is 2,000 years old. Because, because there's a wall that goes down below. And so when David built his uh, palace and everything, it was built right here in this area. Outside of the present day walls of what is called the old city of Jerusalem. Outside of what is called uh, the old city of Jerusalem. So everything in here is inside of the city walls. Все то находится за стеной внутри города. The ancient city walls. Древний город за древней стеной. This whole section here that you can see with these white buildings. Эти белые здания. The majority of these are new buildings. В основном новые новострои. Most of them built since 1967. Большинство построено с 1967 -го года. And it is what is called the Jewish quarter. Называется еврейский район. There are four quarters. Существует четыре квартала, четыре района. The Armenian quarter. Армян, армянский. Which is over here. Округ. Там. And then the behind the Armenian quarter is the Jewish, I mean the Christian quarter. За ним идет христианский квартал. And then over to the right of the Christian quarter, on the other side of of this, on the opposite side of this, is the Muslim quarter. So the old city of Jerusalem is divided into four parts. And the, the uh, Kotel, or the western wall, the Kotel it's called in Hebrew, or the western wall, Kotel is the western wall. Uh, also known uh, as the Wailing Wall, uh, is is right on the other side of here. We'll we'll have a picture in a little bit. But what is really interesting is in this area right here, in the city of David, because they've been doing archaeological digging here in the last uh, 20 years. It, they found uh, some unusual, what is called in Hebrew, bulim. Uh, a bull in Hebrew is uh, a type of stamp. In fact, if you were going to buy uh, stamps uh, from the post office today in Israel, you would, you would ask for bulim. To вы попросите bulim. Tinli bulim bevaksha, or give me some bulim, please. Дайте мне пару bulim, пожалуйста. 
And uh, so, but that word bulim is an ancient word. Это слово bulim это древнее слово. And it comes from if you take a letter. Если вы возьмете какую-то букву. Let's play like this as a letter. А письмо, допустим. And and you and you you fold it over and then you take some uh, uh, wax from a candle and drop it on it mm. to seal it. S seal it. Mm -hmm. seal. Берете письмо и запечатываете воском. And then you take your signet ring. I'm not wearing any rings today because my hands are swollen. But и берете свой свой uh, перстень с с с печаткой. If you you take your signet ring and you take it and you put it down in the wax. You put it down in the wax. Yeah. And it makes an impression. Делайте отпечаток на письме. And that impression uh, hardens. Восковое, которое потом затвердевает. And and uh, and and becomes what they call a bull or bullim. И становится, как называют его, bull, bullim. And normally they'll take a string and wrap it around the letter. И обычно еще веревочкой перевязывали. And put Письмо. A, put a knot in the string. Завязывали эту веревочку. And then put the uh, wax on top of the knot of the screen, string. И помещали этот, этот восковую печать на этой and then put, на этом узелке. And then put the ring to make the mark right in the uh, wax on top of the string knot. И именно там делали этот печать. And what is interesting is what they found here is 51 bulim. Uh, here in this area of the city of David. Интересно, там нашли 51 булим в древнем городе Давида. But all of them were different булим. Но все они разные. With different people's insignias or different people's um, uh, uh, em emblem. И там эмблемы были разных людей. And uh, one of those emblems on in there that they из, found одна из эмблем которые они нашли was the scribe of king david and his name and his emblem was there и там книжник был царя давида с именем этого книжника which was amazing to find something like that so what they found Было was интересно найти такое что они нашли what they found was a library therefore of scribes a library of scribes is what they found when they got in there. Because to have that many from so many different scribes meant that, that this had to be where all of David's scribes were. Okay? As a people, you mean? All, all the people. The scribes are people that... Yes. That is, they found the place where all the scribes were of David. Uh, a scribe is an individual that that writes uh, things down on scrolls for uh, the king. Записывали разные вещи для царя. And so they found that here in the city of David. So it's and that is showing for sure that this area was where David's palace was. Поэтому точно можно быть уверенным в том, что там находился. They thought, it, they thought it was, but they couldn't be absolutely certain until they found the scribe room. Раньше, конечно, предполагали они, что там находился дворец Давида, но до тех пор, пока не нашли они эту комнату или это место, где книжники были, теперь они уже точно уверены. So when archaeologists find something like that, something that important, поэтому когда археологи находят что-то настолько важное, that Prove something that the Bible says. То это доказывает то, что говорит Библия. To be true. Что это правда. And that the Bible said this is the area. This is where the Tanakh, the Brit Hayashan, whatever you want to call it, the Old Testament. As it says there. As it says that it was there. It says that it was. Как говорится в Ветхом Завете, что там находилось это все. So it's exciting to find things that prove it to be true because you know it was 3000 years ago. Интересно находить такие доказательства, все равно что это 3000 лет прошло. So sometimes it's hard to find something 3000 years old. И надо очень трудно найти что-то чему 3000 лет от роду. It's exciting when they find it. И они очень радуются, когда такое находят. Just so you'll know, this portion of the wall that's been built up here, that's only about 800 years old, was built by the Turkish people. И чтобы вы знали, вот эта верхняя половина стены 800 лет построена, восстановлена турками.
on top of an, an old wall. На основании старой стены, древней стены. The, during the time of David, the wall came out this way. И во времена Давида стена шла до сих пор. Went around me. Сзади меня проходила. And came all the way over here and way up to. Проходила впереди и соединялась там. At at first, when David first built it, it only the wall came around me. И когда Давид впервые только построил этот город, эту стену, стена проходила сзади меня. И потом came up right here. Вот примерно здесь была. And enter came to right here on this this part of the wall. И соединялась с той частью стены, потому что там находится с левой стороны стены долина была. And this valley right here is called the Central Valley. Центральная долина называлась. And this valley over here is called the Kidron Valley. И Кидронская Кидрон 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 Кидронская долина с той стороны. And so over on the other side of the Kidron Valley, which you can't see in this picture, is the other side of the Kidron Valley. So behind me, you can't see it. You can say behind me is the Mount of Olives. Находится как Оливковая гора. So you're getting, you're starting to get an idea of of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting to get an idea of what happened here. So you're starting You can see here, we're still in the same area, looking up. We still are still in the same area, looking up. But we were looking over here. 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 Muslim people have control of this area because Israel allows them to have it. И мусульмане контролируют эту территорию, поскольку Израиль позволяет им это. You have a temple platform. Храмовая платформа там. That Herod built. Который построил Ирод. He enlarged it. Он ее расширил. He enlarged it even larger than Solomon built it. Расширил эту платформу даже дальше и больше, чем Соломон когда строил. Because David built this way in between the two valleys. Поскольку Давид строил сюда между поближе к нам. And Solomon, his son. И Соломон. David's son. Built this way up higher. Строил выше. On what is called Mount Moriah. На горе Мария, как называется. Because you remember, David wasn't allowed to build the temple platform or the temple. Как вы помните, Давиду не было позволено начать строить храм, платформу храма. Because of the wars that he had been involved in, he had what they called blood on his hands. Как из-за тех многих войн, что он вел, и из-за крови на его руках. So Solomon was the one that built the platform. Потому Соломон построил платформу. And the temple. И храм. Which is behind, would be behind this building if it was still there today. И можно было бы сказать, что храм был бы за этим зданием. But you remember in 70 A.D. Если бы он считал наше время, но в 70-м году the Romans destroyed the temple. Римляне разрушили храм. And all of the walls of the temple. И все стены храма. But they didn't destroy the platform. И они не уничтожили платформу. That it was built on. На которой был построен храм. And they also did not destroy the wall. That holds up one side of the platform. Также они не разрушили стену, которая удерживает эту платформу с одной стороны. That goes up about as high as this building does high. А это платформа, это стена удерживающая высотой с этого здания. And goes down below the earth about the same distance. И примерно такой же глубины она под землей. So it's a, it's a, it was a rather high wall to hold up the platform. Поэтому очень высокая эта стена, которая поддерживает платформу. So you have the platform here on Mount Moriah. Платформа идет на горе Мария. And you have a central valley here on this side. И с этой стороны центральная долина. And they, and Herod and and Solomon built a huge wall here to hold this platform up. Огромную стену возвели, чтобы поддерживать эту платформу. И эта стена со времен Ирода. Вот эту стену мы называем стеной плача. Стена плача, западная стена. Котель на иврите. 
That that wall it held up that whole platform. И именно та стена поддерживала ту платформу. This is going out even further, so we were just looking right here. Можно сказать, мы ту территорию смотрели. Behind these trees. За этими деревьями, которые. Now we're looking all the way down to the corner. А теперь мы видим самый конец этой стены. This corner right here is 2,000 years old. Вот эта часть стены 2,000 лет. And you can see all these stones right here easily today. Очень легко можно эти камни увидеть. Above it is only about 800 years old. А над этими камнями 800 лет стене. It's Christmas time again. Снова Рождество. So here's another picture of of that same that we had before. Еще такая же фотография. This now, we're standing in the city of David. Мы стоим сейчас на городе Давидовом. And we could be looking up at the city. И мы можем видеть город, старый город Иерусалим. И now we're looking below us. А теперь мы смотрим под ноги. Because the archaeologists have made it where we can see down below us. Поскольку археологи все сделали так, чтобы можно было видеть внизу. To show us the area where they found the bullim, where they found the city of David. Там, где они нашли bullim, там, где нашли город Давидов. Down below. Внизу. And so they they built it up so you can actually walk up here and then look down below. Там они все построили так, что вы ходите и все внизу видите. So they're they're making it now. They're starting to build things and making it nice. So it's kind of in the middle of the construction. You mean? They're in the middle of of making it nice, but they're still letting tourists in and seeing everything. Они все еще там работают над этой конструкцией, но но уже все равно но уже пускают туристов. But this this wall right here is is part of the temple wall of David. Это часть храмовой стены Давида. And it's huge. It's a huge wall. It's about it goes about from that wall there to way over here. It's wide. That wide. No, it's about how much? Maybe four meters in length. It's it's a huge wall. It's a it's a temple wall. Храмовая стена. Of the of the area that David built, that was before Solomon. Еще это было это до Соломона. And and this is showing down below as well, where they're digging down. Это внизу там где они копают еще. So they're going deeper and deeper, trying to find more things. Углубляются все дальше и дальше, больше чего-то ищут. Showing you some more. This is this is actually down below. So now if we look up. We'll see where we were standing. И это тот нижний уровень, потому что если вверх, вверху это металлическая сетка там, где ходили мы. So we're down below now. Поэтому сейчас мы ниже на уровне. Looking at that wall. Смотрим на эту стену. Now this is a staircase. Это винтовая лестница. A round staircase to allow us to go down. To Hezekiah's tunnel. Так что мы доберемся до туннеля Езеки. That's me going down. I'm going down some more. Это я, это я. See how we're going down? А теперь видите, как мы все спускаемся. Going down in the. You need a parachute. That's it. С парашютом. That's what it looks like here. It's it's not a parachute. We're not going to go that far down. But it looks like it, doesn't it? No, it's diving, diving, for diving. It's diving. It's diving. Это для дайвинга у него. Yeah, there is water down there. Там вода есть внизу. In Hezekiah's tunnel. And tunnel is there. What is really interesting is that the water for that the spring of Hezekiah's tunnel. Интересно, что то вода из источника Езеки. Was outside the city walls a little bit. David's city. Немножко выходила за пределы города Давида. And so they had to find some way to protect it. Поэтому они должны были как-то придумать, чтобы защитить этот источник. So they dug a man-made tunnel. И они сделали специальный туннель. Люди копали, рыли. It's really, really long. Maybe two soccer fields long. Может быть, по длине двух футбольных полей, если взять. Unbelievable. Очень длинный. They dug. One team dug from one side. С одной стороны одна команда рыла. And the other team dug from the other side. Вторая группа людей со второй стороны. And then Josephus said they met peak 
pick to pick. Затем этот историк Иосиф Флавий сказал, что они встретились, как можно сказать, один инструмент с одной стороны, а второй инструмент с другой стороны. The reason why he mentions Josephus as a historian during the time of Jesus. Почему Иосиф Флавий это говорит во времена Иисуса? A Jewish individual that was writing for the Romans. Он был еврей, он писал, как бы работал на римляна. And he wrote a lot of things about the history of of this time frame. И он он очень много записал истории именно того времени. And of the time frame of Jesus. И также времени времен Иисуса. So his book, the book of Josephus, is is important for us today. Поэтому его книжка, книжка Иосиф Флавия, очень важна. Его труды. And and so he he talked about this tunnel, and he talked about. All kinds of things, even Qumran. Он говорил об этом туннеле, даже он о Qumran говорил. Yes, they they were building this to protect. But what is real interesting is that they would dig like this on this side, and then on this side, coming the other way, they would dig like this. Они зигзагообразно делали этот туннель. Is because they didn't have any way of really knowing when they were going to hit each other. When they were going to meet. Потому что они не знали, когда они могут встретиться. So they dug like this. Поэтому они так делали. So that when they got close to each other, the chances were greater that they would hit, and they would be able to hear each other. Больше шансов у них было, что они так пересекутся и So they, so it's like this on this side and like this on this side. Поэтому что с первой то то есть со второй стороны зигзагообразный туннель. But Josephus says that they came pick to pick together. И Флавий сказал, что они точь точь сошлись. Which means they were hearing each other. Это означает они друг друга слышали. So they knew where the other one was. Они знали где. And they started digging to each other. Вторая команда была и начали друг идти друг по отношению к другу, поэтому. And they dug across. Может быть даже если они разошлись где-то, все равно они услышали и начали направление друг друга копать. So when they dug across, they they had let the water go another direction down the valley. For while they were digging, they didn't let it come down so the men could dig. Пока они копали в воду, они пустили в долину. They blocked it off. So after the men got out, а после того, когда все люди вышли из туннеля, they went and unblocked it. Они разблокировали там, где вода была шла. And the water came flowing through all the way. Вода шла в долину, потом вода была перенаправлена в туннель. To a very beautiful pool. That they built, so very beautiful. And it filled a very beautiful reservoir, basin, very beautiful. Inside of David's city, which was located inside the city of David. And then they built. We're all going down. And we're still going down. Underneath. Below. Going in the caves. In the caves. It's amazing to dig like that. Как они копали все? The Canaanite tunnel, Hezekiah's tunnel, two different tunnels here. Два различных туннеля: Езеки и Хананейский туннель. Hezekiah's tunnel. Туннель Езеки. And Canaanite tunnel. Хананейский. Canaanite is older. An older tunnel. Туннеля старше. Older than Hezekiah's. Старше, чем Езеки туннель. And notice they have a picture of water here. Здесь водичка видно. And here they show a hiker with no water. А здесь нет воды. So if you if you're a if you're going down to see this, and you don't have shoes on and pants on for getting wet. Поэтому если вы хотите зеленый туннель посетить и у вас нет специальной обуви или по крайней мере так что вы можете ноги замочить. Then you take this three thousand year old Canaanite tunnel. Да, вы пойдете в Хананский туннель. That's not real long, but lets you get close to the water. Который не очень длинный, но ну до воды вы дойдете. And if not, you go in Hezekiah's tunnel. А если нет, то вы пойдете в туннель Езеки. And the water can be up to here. И вода может дойти до пояса. And you get to walk in it. И вы будете идти в воде. And the walls are like this. 
и стены вот такие узкие. И я всегда должен был так Потому что там я был две недели назад, и там я ударился головой. Все еще у меня шишка. У меня голова на плечах, но все равно немножко верхушку мою срезанули. Можно сказать так. Особенно если волос нет, то очень больно. И там уже вода начинается. Когда мы вышли. And this is Shiloh inscription. That's about two thousand years old. Это табличка тоже две тысячи лет ей. Now we're walking back up the road, and here's the water that comes out. И вот вода, которая выходит из туннеля. Now they're not letting the water come in like it used to, so they just brought a little bit of water in. So there's not a lot of water. Тут мало воды. Because they 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 they're bringing the water down this pipe here. Taking it to uh, the city to get it to get it out of the area because this this pool there's a there's a family that lives over here, and their house is built there, so they they can't excavate the whole pool yet, the whole beautiful yes. pool area, because What's people live there. Там рядом живут люди, дом их стоит, поэтому они не могут полностью раскопки сделать, ну увидеть. Because their homes are built on top of where. Резервуар, потому что их дом построен именно там, где был вот этот бассейн, резервуар для воды. Поэтому сначала нужно людей переселить, получить разрешение. И уже до конца дойти, раскопать. You can't see very well, but this is steps that are going down, and the pool area is here. Плохо видно, но там вот эти лесенки, ступеньки идут, и место, где вот этот был резервуар, внизу находится. These steps are two thousand five hundred years old. Again? These steps are two thousand five hundred years old. Две тысячи, две с половиной тысячи лет эта лестница. And this wall here is just a wall to keep keep the it's a protection wall for all the people that live on the other side. Why? To protect whom? Well, they have a. They have to have some way to keep all the tourists from looking into where they're living. Ah, и ту стену построили это защищать тех людей, которые там живут, потому что тут туристы, и они постоянно бы заглядывали к ним домой. So they have a wall built up here, and so they haven't gotten permission to do all of the digging. So it's only been about twenty years that they've, they and they've only they found this about. Это нашли шесть лет назад, а в принципе, если все вместе взять, то двадцать лет. Только как все найдено. Все это новое абсолютно. Находка. Right here, you can see there's rocks coming here. Вот эти камни видите? These are actually this water goes underneath them. И вода проходит под этими камнями. And those are put there by men. These rocks, they're they're like a pavement. Можно сказать, как тротуар такая, мостовая. Некоторые из этих камней разбиты. И они разрушали Иерусалим, и евреи бежали, спасались бегством, и они нашли под этими татуарными глыбами скелеты этих евреев. So they found they found them underneath, trying to get away from the, all the destruction. Потому что они пытались как-то убежать, спастись. In an area where the water wasn't as high as their neck, so they could get keep their head up just above water. Можно они пробирались внизу и там вода доходила до шеи, то есть они могли еще. And they also found a few coins there that let them know that what time period it was. It was during about 70 A.D. And и пару также там монет нашли 
и которые указывали на то, что это был 70-й год примерно. But why they died there? Uh, Because of water the, or what? The, no, what? they didn't die for the water. The uh, Romans uh, found that they were down there. And? They and they broke the stones up so oh. they could get to them. That's why they're broken up. So they could get the people out of there and kill them. И они разбивали вот эти тротуарные глыбы, они развивали, узнали, что те прячутся там, достали их, убили. They probably crucified them. But anyway, their bones were in down the, there. Yeah, their bones were uh, down there. Yeah, oh, you're right about that. They died down there. I didn't think about that. You're so right. You're <laughs> so right. I don't know. I don't know. Here's a here's a picture of you. Right. I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I should be thinking more, shouldn't I? <laughs> I guess some of them died and some of them didn't, according to what the uh, Jewish people were saying when we were going down there, but I hadn't thought of that. I should have asked my tour guide that. <laughs> but anyway, this is a, here's one of the stones that is not broken away, and this is a, uh, a drain. For when it rains. Это, как сказать, когда собирается весь дождь, и туда вода вся протекает. It's it's about this big around. Такая примерно по объему. Круг. And this is just to give you kind of an idea of what the pool looked like. Примерно так выглядел этот. They have a picture near there. Резервуар. Another picture near there to let you know what it what it looked like. Примерно так выглядел. The great big pool and all the steps going down. Steps on each side. Big pillars. Эти. And they found the pillars, they found the stones, so that's a picture to let you know what it used to look like. During the time of... Again, repeat it again. They, they made a picture that's on the wall um, to let you have an idea of what it used to look like. И там на стене они сделали эту картину специально, чтобы можно было примерно знать, как это было, как это выглядело. Yeah. These are the steps that we saw. Yeah, they're, they're giving an example. And that's where people live in, on this. Uh, actually, on this side. Yeah, not on that side, but on this side. И люди живут с правой стороны. Where I'm standing would be where people are living. Там, где я стою сейчас, примерно там люди живут. Yeah, because those are those are the steps on the opposite side of the pool. Here's the pool. So the people would be living where these pillars are. И люди живут, можно сказать, в наше время, где были раньше вот эти вот столпы, колонны. And that's a cat. Excavated cat. Yeah, an excavated cat. Раскопали кота. Шутка. Another picture of the pool. And can I translate it? Yeah, sure. Сейчас и навсегда в память тех, кто повстал в лагерях и гетто. Сборолся в лесах и в подземелье и с как это с силами, которые проложили свой путь в Израиль, кто умер, освещая освещая что? А имя Бога. Okay, this is a, uh, an earlier war, not uh, the late war that we were looking at a while ago. This is not 2,000 years ago. This is during the time of modern Israel. This is the Holocaust Museum. It's the grounds outside of it. This is a bunch of stuff in our living room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you see this animal over here? Видите это животное на горизонте? Right there, with the big horns. С большими рогами. Oh yeah. We're we're back we're back at the Dead Sea. Okay. Снова мы к мертвому морю возвратились. We just went from Jerusalem and we drove in our car down a very nice highway. Мы только выехали из Иерусалима, проехали по по очень хорошему шоссе. And so it took us about fifty minutes. За пятнадцать минут где-то. About 50 minutes, not quite an hour to get there. За 50 минут, чтобы добраться до этого места. That's at the Dead Sea. There you go. There he is again. 
Isn't did you that like amazing? did you like him or what? Huh? I liked him. Oh, he liked you. He liked us. He let us take pictures of him. Oh, мы ему понравились, потому что он позировал, позволял нам сфотографировать себя. Oh, yeah, <laughs> similar. <laughs> Without the horns. <laughs> so you can see the Dead Sea behind him. Поэтому за ним можете видеть мертвое море. Козел на фоне мертвого моря. Okay. 